back to my channel success engineering official so in the last tutorials uh, we have uh, we were in uh, near the telecom room so for this ground floor so today we are uh, continue with this telecom room and there will be only one area which is uh, this uh, corridor and reception is uh, balanced so we have to complete this as well today so let us continue with this electrical room so before i start uh, this video i would like to request you guys if you are still not subscribe my channel please do subscribing and uh, hit the bell icon as well so that uh, whenever i upload any video will get the notification of that video so let us start now let me open this uh, app software okay let us open my project and go to the space and then you can see this is the electrical room so in this we have to create the door schedule which is ALT1 here ALT1 so go to the uh, schedule first here schedule and there is a door so ALT1 click this ALT1 and you can calculate the gross area in a square meter so you can see here the width is 2.4 and the height you can check here in this elevation drawing you can see here this is the height of the door which is uh, from here to, to here 2.4 so it is uh, 2.4 by 2.4 so just calculate the area gross area for the door 2.4 by 2.4 which will be 5.76 square meter so 5.76 square meter okay and the u value do not change because this u value is given by civil people so you have to ask the u value and put it here okay so just click okay so this ALD1 door is created then go to the space and click this uh, electrical room and select this ALD1 okay and uh, just check the exposure which is uh, check the width of this door uh, area 3.1 by 4 meter so exposed wall is 3.1 by 4 which is 12.4 square meter so here is 12.4 and there is one window which is ALT1 now go to the roof and skylight so here select the horizontal roof 12.4 square meter and then floor is uh, on the grade and floor area is 12.4 square meter and there is no partition there is partition here <coughs> which is because the transformer room is unconditioned space so this is your partition which is uh, just select the length of this room which is 5.8 by 4 meters so is 5.8 by 4 which is 23.2 square meter and this is the wall partition so here 23.2 square meter and the u value is same uh, do not change anything here just click ok click on save ok so this is done and the transformer room we have to do with uh, ventilation calculation in this so now we have to go for this reception area so this is your reception area okay so here you can create the hr office select the hr office here and duplicate this just rename the rename here okay ground floor and reception reception okay and the area for this reception is just uh, check here this is 7.4 and the width is from here to here okay width is 5.2 so just calculate the area 5.2 by 7.4 which will be 38.48 square meter here so 38.48 square meter height is 4 meter okay and this is a reception so <coughs> this is 
check here if there is any reception. There is no reception. You have to check. you have to select the lobby. Okay, so I'm going to select lobby here. Okay, and then go to the internal. So in the internal, you have to check the occupancy which is taken from this uh, furniture layout. So let me open this. So this is your furniture layout. So in this, you can see here there are so many chairs. So you can select the furniture here. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 people can sit here. So you have to select the number of people here, 11. And the seated at rest, they're not doing the office work. And then go to the wall and window. So there is a exposed wall, which is south wall. So area for this wall is here. You can see 7.4 meter. Seven point four meter. So seven point four by four, which is twenty nine point six square meter, and south side. So here is twenty nine point six. And there is one door which is uh, no window, and there is one door here one. And the window is zero. So this is your window which can be taken from the front side so go to, go to the elevation views here and uh, just look for this uh, window so this is your uh, window front main window so we need to create this window okay so this is totally glass glass window so we have to create this window so what we will do let me check if there is a here given something so there is no given the name so we have to name this okay so reception window we can say so what you will do go to the door here reception door sorry so create this main door write it here main door the area is 7.4 by 4 height you can check it from here <clears throat> from here to here 7.2 so 7.4 by 7.2 by 7.2 which will be 53.28 53.28 square meter and the glass area is 53.28 53.28 same this is door is for the glass the u value for the glass is taken from the civil people and they will give also shading coefficient as well so just click ok this is the main door created and there is roof and skylight so this is the horizontal roof and the floor area is 38.5 so here will be 38.5 and select this roof and then floor is on the grid 38.5 and there is no partition so click ok total area window and doors on exposure row exceed the total area of the wall ok so the uh, this is your 29.6 and the window is also same so your window will be little bit less because the total area is should be less than because the frame and also it will be little bit less so what you will do you go to this uh, main door okay what you will do just just increase this little bit okay okay so click okay now make it uh, 40 okay then click okay make it uh, 100 100 then okay then what you will do go to the doors and duplicate this and this is you have to calculate this 
Ah, okay. Because I have uh, selected here for the complete floor, so no need to select the complete floor because this uh, this is for the complete floor. So what you will do? Just uh, make one line here because uh, we need for the first floor only, ground floor only. So this is your level for the ground floor. So up to here. Okay. So this is your height. So just check the dimension, linear dimension here, which will be 4.3 by 7. So 4.3 by 7, which is 30.1. So here you need to change that 30.1. Click OK. And here also you have to check change 30.1. Okay. Now go to the space and then reception. Where is the reception? Ground floor reception. Where is the reception? Here. Now you have to change this. Okay. So 7.4 is the height. 7.4 is the width and the height of the wall is 4 meter so you should keep little bit more than the cross area of window so I will keep it here 38.5 is already here so 38.5 and then check here also in this here 38.5 then also same then okay so it is okay now the next is uh, corridor so here is the white corridor so next you have to select the re reception as well and then rename this uh, make it corridor corridor okay so for the corridor we have to we have to check the area type AA area command and uh, start selecting the area from here this corner then you have to go straight here up to this corner okay then click on this corner then you have to click here and then you have to to click here then here in this corner and uh, here this corner and uh, click go to this corner uh, okay then go to the, this last point then move this side Okay, then go straight like this up to here. Then press enter so you can see here the area is 14.8. So the corridor area is 14.8 square meters. So 14.8 here square meter and height is 4 meter. And this is lobby or let's check for the corridor if there is corridor here corridor okay so this is the corridor and then go to the internals check the number of people in this uh, furniture layout so in this you can see if in the corridor there is no people so we will live as it is so here is zero number of people is zero and the lighting and equipment sheet will, will be same then go to, go to the exposure so there will be exposure here which is uh, west and east so this is your, your exposed wall west and east so select the exposure here which is uh, east and west east and west okay so this is your 2.6 by 4 so just calculate the area 2.6 by 4 
which is 10.4 and there is one door here if ed so 10.4 point both are same 10.4 by 10.4 so so each side there is a uh, one door which is uh, ad if ed okay if ed here also there is uh, if ed and here also one door if ed Okay. Now go to the roof and skylight, which is 14.8 uh, here. So 14.8. Then go to the doors, floor, and uh, and partition. Then nothing. There is no partition. So click OK. So you can see we have completed the uh, complete uh, ground floor. Just save this. Okay, so in the next tutorials, guys, uh, I will continue with this space creation for the first floor, these spaces, and then we have to create the system. So please keep watching my full tutorials uh, because uh, this uh, project will be a little bit uh, lengthy because so many spaces are there, and this is two floors building, so it will take a little bit time. Just give your time and uh, keep watching my full tutorials, and uh, please keep watch my full videos and uh, complete videos don't uh, miss any tutorials i will make the video part by part so please keep watching my full videos and and please like and share my video so thank you for watching my video we will meet in the next tutorials tomorrow and uh, we'll create the space for the first floor so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye